Good morning. Good morning, Vietnam. Robin Williams. Anyway, my bad impression of him. I can't wait to see him again. Hmm. Can you imagine? All your favorite people, your favorite family members. They're all coming to be around you. Very soon. Today, I planning to dedicate this to hmm. I can't think of the name to my sister. crooked and so what do you do then? You want to hear a person on the other side of the line but it's always something it's, it's there is buzzing there is like cracking and what do you do? You ignore it you stop conversation because it's very annoying for you Considering for today is, are you still disconnected from the source, from the Father Creator? Very much the same analogy as a bad connection between uh, two people talking on the phone. Sometimes one person talks, hear the other ones, but the other one doesn't hear source or the first person so instead of being a two-way conversation it's end up in one side is yelling as as much as they can and the other side is saying what 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 repeat this again oh bad connection bad connection but nobody in this perspective are really trying to figure out why there is a bad connection in the first place. What you can do to fix this connection so you can have two-way clear communication with whoever. In this case we're talking God. As anybody else. God, me, you. Same thing. Same difference. So when you start looking for the actual cause, why we cannot communicate properly with our Creator, this is where we actually placing ourselves on the right path of discovery. Until now we have been waiting for somebody else to fix the line. You call the technician to come in, do nothing, charge you a lot, play games with you company do the same things, like the institutions. But basically what you are doing all the time, in this case I'm referring companies, I'm referring to church, let's say. The church, it will fix your communication with uh, God. Yeah, right. <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I'm not sorry. 
at all. It's the worst and funniest joke ever I heard. People go to church, go to institution to get communication with God. I mean, you had more chance to talk with God if you just pick up the phone and dial a random number. You will call with, you know, have a conversation with God rather than going to church and send it is like, you know, dark, obscure rooms and like with the organs we'll show you how the God is coming come on <laughs> I have to do some fun uh, on the church I mean this is the most ridiculous uh, uh, entity I mean we create it as, as a physical entity that we suddenly give all our trust to this you know freakish environment which when we learned what uh, what has been doing for millennia even before the church was organized it was already a church it was a churchy kind of you know intervention let's disconnect people let's make their connection with God very blurry so they don't even have a clue how to do this and they will always have to ask us and then they will you know screw them up <laughs> the other words they will use you, they will abuse you, they will use your energy, they will actually make you things, uh, make you do things that you could not imagine. Absolutely immoral things, absolutely non-ethical things. And this is where this connection getting worse and worse. Instead of getting clearer, if you have, let's say, a teacher who can show you how to make a better connection with God, Eventually, you would not need a teacher, but what they've done, they make it prepared to mobility of, of, you know, get more uh, uh, followers, get, you know, two something billion Christians, they're counting, they're putting little marks on the wall of the Vatican's holes there, of course, collecting money as well, and uh, all the assets that all these people had, now they're taking them in their possession, but not anymore. We took it back. So this will be a nice surprise for you when you hear, when you hear, ah, Pope Francis actually gifting, gifting, actually returning, but it will be like a gift to humanity, to all the countries, all the assets, all the gold, all the stolen uh, things all the artworks, all the recordings, all the ancient teachings, ancient scrolls with a, with a, a, a truly like wise and, and, uh, and very important things for humanity, new technologies. Vatican has it. So this is why they want to keep this bad connection with Creator. But they didn't count on some of us that we break through. I mean, it's more than some of us. Now it's in, in millions of, of people that we are here fully connected. We don't need a telephone. We don't need a church. We don't need some fat priest to, to tell me, you know, okay, you are forgiven. I don't need church anymore because I found myself. I can talk freely with myself and right away I can talk freely with God. I love myself. Right away I love God. So you tell me who's stupid here? Me, who don't need all this technology, all this, you know, fake uh, institutions? Or majority of the world, who are so dependent on what others will tell them, how to do their own connection?
try to do telepathy with God. It's funny. It works. It's absolutely hilarious. They make me laugh absolutely every single time. I wish you best possible connection with God. Ciao.